and you now have your own unique drum sequencer that you can load up anytime. Make your loops into something new with the Step Sequencer and the Sampler plugin. That's what we're looking at in this Traction 7 tutorial. Welcome to Simple Green Tech, where we do tips, tutorials, and reviews to help you create great digital content. If you'd like to see more videos like this one, including more Traction Software tutorial videos, please subscribe to the channel. I've also included a link to our Traction 7 tutorial playlist in the description of this video, so you can check that out anytime you like. In this video today, we're looking at the Step Sequencer and the Sampler plugin in Traction 7. So let's jump in. First up, let's load a loop into track one. If you need some decent loops to give you a bit of inspiration or just to add some new sound to your tracks, I highly recommend Loop Masters. They have some great $1 sample packs that are always changing, and I'll link to them below so you can check them out whenever you like. For now, let's listen to this loop. We can see where each of the beats are, and what I like to start with is grabbing the kick drum. So let's listen to the kick drum that we have here. So let's make a slice on each side of it. Now click on the separated click and go down here to give it a name. I'll call it kick one. Now let's find our snare drum. Okay, this snare sounds pretty good. So let's slice it here. Then click on it and rename it. And now if you're lucky, your loop might have a hi-hat beat without anything else in it. We have one here, so we're going to make the slices and name it hi-hat. We now have three clips to use for our sampler plugin. So let's load the sampler plugin on track two. We can now insert a step clip into the timeline by going over here, right clicking, and click on insert step clip. You can also drag and drop this red plus sign down to the timeline and select Step Clip. Whatever works for you best. So now we need to load our clips into the sampler plugin. But what we have to do first is flatten the clips. That way it creates a new sub clip that is just that one sound and it's not a piece of the entire loop. To flatten the clip, just click on it, then go down here to Render Clip and click on Flatten the Clip. Do this for all of your other clips, and you're ready to load them into the sampler. And to do that, click on the clip that you want to load, press Control c on your computer keyboard, and then go down to the Sampler plugin, click on it, and press Control v on your computer keyboard. And do this for your other clips, until you have them all loaded in. Now click on the Step Clip, and you'll notice that it says bass drum. Click on that and you'll see down here that the key that they have the preset for the bass drum is C2. So let's click on the sampler again and go over to our clip list and click on the kick drum. Now we just have to drag all of these arrows over to C2. Let's click on the step clip again and click on acoustic snare and we see that D2 is the key that they have in their preset, so we'll click on the sampler again, click on the snare clip in our clip list, and drag all of the arrows over to D2. And we can do the same process for the rest of your clips. Now let's zoom into our sequencer grid and draw in our notes. You can create your own beats and loops however you want. And a fun thing that you might want to try is combining clips from different loops. So take a kick drum from one loop 
a snare from another, and maybe a hi-hat from another, and get creative and have fun with it. You can actually save this preset so you can load it up again quickly. Just click on Sampler, then go down to Save beside the preset heading, and give it a name. Then click OK, and you now have your own unique drum sequencer that you can load up anytime. And that's it for slicing up a loop, loading it into the sampler, and using the step sequencer. Thank you for checking out this video. If you'd like to see more videos on Traction T7, please subscribe to the channel. Also, be sure to check out the description of this video where we have the link to our Traction 7 tutorial playlist. For Simple Green Tech, I'm Radio Zane, and we'll talk soon.